wind warning into the afternoon of the Smokies gusts up to 80 miles per hour wind advisory on the plateau in the western and southern part of the valley and that's where gusts are up to 50 miles per hour. So obviously we're seeing and feeling some variation in your first alert forecast from winds to rain timing to downpours and storms. So let's talk timing on the rain and storms now as that leading edge continues to slowly drag east kicking out some spotty rain around six continuing to push east seven o'clock hour. We have some more scattered rain and storms starting to reach the valley. Meanwhile, still a good steady rain and downpour activity on the plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line. So it helps to create more of these scattered pockets out towards the valley. Mid to late morning is actually kind of the main batch then pushing east a little bit better. As soon as by 11 a.m. you get the difference of even some sun trying to peek out in Knoxville, the downpours and storms spreading out. Then by noon, good day to pack the lunch so you don't have to get back out in this mess as it does spread out still late morning through the afternoon. Uh, really hitting pretty much all of our area through this time frame with moderate to heavy downpours, some gustier winds. Notice the back edge then along the edge of the plateau between 3 and 4 o'clock, you'll catch that clearing. Between 4 and 5 o'clock, it starts to clear the valley. Still lined up in the foothills to mountains in far northeast Tennessee around 530 to 6, still on track to become spotty. As we catch some clearing, I do expect some areas of dense fog to fill in tonight with only a stray shower left over for the mountains as we go into tomorrow morning. So one of those elements of change would be those winds kicking up again the strongest winds kind of circled up around the valley but still some gusts around 30 miles per hour throughout the valley to northeast Tennessee and southeastern Kentucky as that front passes then midday to afternoon you can see those winds gradually going back down a bit so at least then we're still breezy but not as gusty to round out your Tuesday so if you're just trying to get out the door and get your day started those temperatures vary with a lot of 50s in our area again some even hanging out in the upper 50s but make sure you're grabbing the rain gear because we have the showers kicking out ahead of that main line. So everyone will want that umbrella handy today as that coverage only goes up from that mid to late morning time frame. Knocks those temperatures around a bit, even at times kind of teeter tottering upper 50s, low 60s, 59 at noon with a high today of 62, back to upper 50s at 8 as that coverage drops. But again, those gusts kicking up along with the rain and storm. So as we slide into that late morning to afternoon time frame, that's when it slides up to about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain where you live in the valley and foothills notice we get closer to an inch along the plateau, the southern valley edge of the plateau going into the valley. That's where it really wants to be a more of a solid one inch of rainfall potential. Roan, Anderson, Morgan, Cumberland, Fentress right around three quarters of an inch is headed your way throughout the day today at the Tennessee Kentucky line. And then we've got a choppy half an inch far northeast Tennessee. Actually, some of those stronger winds in the mountains can create some dry slots as they literally blow downhill across our area. So we've got some varying views here, but at least we'll calm it all down by tomorrow. Getting the fog in the morning, some layers of clouds gives us more of a partly cloudy day, but it becomes a mostly cloudy at times in the afternoon to evening. This is the actual colder air then sliding our way, which is why temperatures the next couple of days will still be up and down. We still have a southwesterly wind tomorrow. 50 degrees in the morning, 59 at noon, high will be 67. Then as those clouds are exiting on Thursday, the winds are turning. So that's why colder air then slides in on Thursday as the system moves up the coast. But it does leave us pretty quiet for a couple days. Going into Easter weekend too, more sun and more winds on Saturday. As some showers are moving across Kentucky, we're seeing a couple pop-ups here at home for Sunday and then we're looking ahead to next week before some rain and storms return. So that's why we sli slowly slide down on Thursday with that shift to low 60s, couple of chillier mornings there like Friday morning, but then those afternoons start warming right back up through Easter weekend before next week's rain and storms.